Hello everybody, welcome to the Football Daily Weekly. It's time to preview tonight's Champions League games and to do that we've got Chris and Dave with us. Gentlemen, pleasure to have you here. Uh, first up, it's Arsenal versus Monaco. Uh, what a mouth-watering one. Arsene Wenger, of course, managed Monaco in the past. What do you make of this one? Quite it's a massive one. opportunity for Arsenal, I think. Mm. Massive opportunity. They've really got to get this one right. This is their opportunity to get to the next stage of the Champions League, build a little bit of momentum. Get, hitting teams on the break with Theo Walcott, Sanchez, Olivier Giroud and Mesut Ozil. Get, them, just get the combinations ready. You know, Cazorla, who's been brilliant this season. It just, they just need to, this is their time for that, that te- this team at the moment to get it right. You're quite hopeful that Arsenal can, can quite comfortably go through here. But is it that straightforward, Christian? I mean, Monaco aren't a bad side. Ultimately, I think they're still struggling from the withdrawal of talent, the Hammers Rodriguez uh, sale. Falcao as well. Falcao departure again. That's another huge one. And I think not, is it, not only is the statistics with Arsenal on this one in terms of Wenger not losing against a French side in France while he's been Arsenal manager, I think the quality is just too strong. With the likes of Sanchez, Welbeck, Giroud, there's a lot of attacking talent that I think could really cut some ribbons mm. through the Monaco backline. Because for me, the reason Monaco were, were so solid was because they were compact. Mm. But they can't do that now. They have to try and nick something in this first leg because when you take it back to Monaco, you're going to have the problem of one goal equals two, essentially because of the away goal yeah. rules. So this is where you need to try and steal it, a bit like Porto did last week with Basel. OK, let's have a prediction, Dave. What do you think? Well, I can't see past Arsenal, Arsenal really. So 3-1 Arsenal, I'm going to go with. 2-0. 2 I agree with Dave. I think 3-1. I think they'll concede, but, uh, but get a decent scoreline nonetheless. Uh, Bayer Leverkusen are playing at Leti, Atletico Madrid. And of course, they got the final last year, and they, they, they're doing OK in the league in a very tough... Um, uh, opposition with Barcelona and Real Madrid, of course, is not too shabby. Yeah, just even them this week. I one, think Bayer it? Leverkusen are so open and mm. Atleti are so closed that yeah. it's going to be a really interesting game. Atletico are going to blow them away. Mandzukic and Griezmann have been brilliant together again, combining for, at the weekend for mm. two of the three goals. So I think that this is a game that Leverkusen, they're not going to win. They're, they're going to get smashed and Athletic are going to steamroll to the, to the quarterfinals. Would you agree with that, uh, I'm inclined to agree with Dave on this one, because Bayer Leverkusen mm. only got one win in five. Mm. And yet, surprisingly, that I read an interview with uh, Omar Toprak, the, the Leverkusen defender, who said that actually he quite likes the way they play, and that Roger Smith, the, the ex-Salzburg coach, has, has made them control games more and kind mm. of give them more um, of the ball. I just don't see enough talent in the Leverkusen side to, to break down a Madrid side that, again, have caused problems for Barcelona, and Madrid, Real Madrid. There's just too much talent on that opposition for me. Yeah, Bayern Leverkusen, they, they, they seem to be the team that everybody wanted in that, uh, in that draw, without being disrespectful. So uh, we're, we're finding it hard to really see past anything other than Atleti win here. Yeah, I think what the problem with, um, with Leverkusen, if you break their press, they're so exposed. At the start of the season, they were conceding goals left, right and centre, where a team would break the press, so they'd play a long ball out and then the players would get drawn over and there'd be a massive overlap on the, on the far side. So tactically, it would be really interesting, but I think Atletico were going to absolutely destroy them. Do you think Atletico could, could make the final again? Definitely. I think, I think that's where, obviously, in the league, Atletico have dropped off a bit. Mm. They're out the cut. This is, this is their competition this season. And I do think they are more structured than they were last season and they're better. Prediction, Dave? 2-0, Atletico. 2-0. I think, yeah, I'm going to agree with Dave on this one, 2-0. 2-0, we're all yeah. agreed. Sweep the ball, 2-0, that's what it's going to be. Well, thanks very much, Dave and Kristen. Uh, Let us know in the comments below your predictions for tonight's games, and we'll see you next week.